All right, welcome back to part two of this Facebook ad training series. So in part one, which by the way, if you haven't seen, I recommend you click the link in the description to watch part one. But in that video, we went through everything that you need to know before running Facebook advertising campaigns. So there's several steps you need to know, you need to get in place before you actually go onto the ads manager and start running campaigns. And we spoke about that in depth, including how to set up things like your business manager and the general structure of um, everything you're gonna need before we get started on Facebook advertising campaigns. In this video, we're gonna tick off three of the first kind of main pillars that you need to get in place. So we're going to look at Facebook pages, how to add them into your business manager, how to create them if you don't have them. Um, I'm also going to talk about Instagram accounts, how to again link them to your Facebook pages and also um, bring them into your business manager. And finally, we're going to look at adding team members to your business manager to publish content on your Facebook pages, to manage your ad campaigns and how to set different levels of permission for them. So really quickly, um, we're going to go through this video. It's going to be very actionable. Um, I'd recommend getting this stuff done straight away so you can move on to the next part, which is going to be setting up your pixel tracking. And again, once I've filmed and released that video, there'll be a link in the description um, to the whole playlist where you can go through and watch that part of the training. So once you've set up your business manager, it's going to look something like this. You can go to business.facebook.com forward slash settings, and it's going to take you through to this page here. Now you'll see your business manager is going to be up here on the left. Mine just is uh, backup business manager number one, which is one I've set up for this purpose. And you're going to have your options here on the left. Okay. So if it doesn't look like this, you're in the wrong place. Like I say, business.facebook.com forward slash settings, click on the business manager that you created and it'll take you here. Now, the first thing I want to do is just look at the top here. You've got users and you've got people. So let's just get this one ticked off. This is adding in your team members. So to add them in, you want to click the add button. You want to enter their email address. This does not need to be the email address that they set up with Facebook. It can simply be any email address that's related to them. Most likely their work email is going to be the most relevant one. So you put their work email in here. So I'm just going to do this for this user, which is not a real user. It's just for the purposes of this video. Now you can choose, do you want to give them admin access, which means they can set their own permission so they can see everything across the board and they can add themselves to ad accounts, pages, pixels, Instagram accounts. They can do the whole lot. Or do you want to give them employee level access where you can actually dictate what and they do and do not have access to? So if you do admin, that's fine. You can just click next. Um, employee is again, more relevant for the next steps because like I say, with admin, they can add themselves to the assets. Whereas with employee, you have to do that for them. So when you click next, it gives up a list of options here. And like I say, if you click admin on step one, you can just click invite because they will be able to go through and add themselves to assets. However, if you want to either do that manually or if you've given them employee access, it's important that you now give them access to things. So you can click on classic pages. If you had any pages here, this business manager does not. But if you had any pages, you could select the page there and the level of access. Add accounts. Again, you can select the level. You can select the ad account you want to add them to and you can select multiple ones. And then you can choose whether you want to give them full control, whether you want to give them um, just the ability to view performance, all of that good stuff. You've got things like catalogs as well, apps and pixels. Pixels is very relevant as well. So you can click on the pixel. You can choose, do you want to give them just the ability to view the data or do you want to give them the ability to manage it so they can actually add or remove pixel events is what it says here as well. And you can create pixel audiences and all of that good stuff. Instagram accounts, same thing. If there was one here, it would um, bring it up and I could show you what I mean, but I've not added any in yet. In fact, what I'll do if I flick over to um, this business manager here and I go to people and I click add and I just do that same process again. So here you can see on this business manager, which is one of the ones that we actually use for our business, this is what it would look like with the pages. So you can click on the page and you can again choose the level of access. Do you want them to have content? Do you want them to have full permissions? Do you want them to be able to see different um, levels of access? Do you want to be able to manage messages, things of that nature? Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to click invite. Okay. So once you've added all of the assets, you would just be clicking uh, invite here. If it says that you can't do that, it's because you need to set permissions. So for example, it's grayed out there because I've not chosen the permissions for this person. If I click invite, it's going to send them an invitation. Okay. Okay. So it says it's been sent. I can click done. So now again, you can manage the permissions for this person within the people tab. Okay. So you can see here, this is the account I'm using and you can see I've got access to everything here. I can add assets and I could go through and select different things to add to myself. If they're an admin, they'll be able to do this. If they're not an admin, they won't be able to do that. So they won't be able to add their own assets. Instead, you would have to do that for them over here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull up what this is going to look like once they receive an invitation. So you can see that. So this is the email that they're going to receive. Um, it'll say from Facebook and it'll say you've been given access to the business manager. They just have to click get started. They can add their name in and it'll then add them to the business manager. For them, it's accessible through their own personal profile. So they can go to again, business.facebook.com forward slash settings and they can access it directly from there in the same way that you would, um, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So that's a really simple way of how to add your employees and manage their permissions. I would personally recommend only adding people as admins 
who you want to have admin access essentially don't just give everyone admin access it can also put your account in more jeopardy if there are admins on the account who have got assets that are banned so for example if someone doesn't need admin access i wouldn't give it to them necessarily however um, your agency owners and partners that you work with likely will need admin access unless you're just adding them as partners into your business manager again for various different reasons if they're doing a lot of the work and setup of different assets on your account so it just depends what's needed we sometimes need to have admin access other times if our clients are a little bit more clued up on how to actually do some of the work their end they can just add us as partners to the various different assets just to be clear while i'm on this point Partners means you can add one business manager, uh, you can share assets to another business manager, okay? So you're almost partnering. So for example, we have our agency business manager, ekbmarketing.com. That is a business manager that we have created. What we can do is we can share assets, okay? Or other people can share assets with us. So you can see here partners to share assets with or partners to request assets from. So for example, I could put in our business manager ID, I can click next, and now I can start sharing the ad accounts with that specific business manager, okay? Which basically means that the people inside of the UKB marketing business manager, this example, can access the assets that have been shared with that business manager, okay? So it's how uh, agencies and companies can partner without having to add anyone else to the business managers, which is quite a clean and secure way of doing things, okay? So um, again, that's a great kind of way of doing it. And if you work with an agency, they'll often ask you to add different assets via the partnerships tab, which is just under people there, okay? So the next part I wanna talk about is pages. So if you click on pages down here, you'll see I currently don't have any pages because this is a new business manager. So if I click add, it gives me three options. Okay, so adding a page means I already have access to it. So this is the one to click if, for example, you have created a Facebook page just on your profile before, you've got a separate Facebook business page that you manage, but you've not brought it into a business manager. Okay, so uh, the clear distinction there is that it's just a page you've created. It's not linked to a business manager. If you've never done any of this before, it likely won't be. So if you have a page, you can just click add page. You can enter the page name or the URL there and click add. And if you are an admin of that page privately, it will just bring it in to the business manager if it's not already been claimed okay so it's a great way of doing things very very easy if you need to request access for example if you're marketing for someone else or there is another business manager that owns the page you can click request access to a page and what you can do is you can essentially just enter that page if i show you um, on this business manager you can enter the page url or name here and again you can click request access it will send in basically an invitation and it'll ask one of the admins to approve that um, meaning that you can then have access to it within your business manager the third way to do it is to create a page okay so again if you're brand new you don't have a page this is going to be the one to click you can click choose a category whichever is kind of best suited for what you want you can give it a name again choose a subcategory and you can click create and it will actually create the page for you and it will be in your business manager um, from the very very beginning okay so if you don't have a page click create if you already have one i'll click add a page and again if you need to request access to one it's going to be that middle option okay so very very simple there okay so next one we'll talk about instagram accounts so if you click on instagram accounts down here what you can do is you can click add it's very similar to the facebook page um, system that we just spoke about you're going to scroll down you're going to click connect your instagram account it's going to bring up a box where you can essentially just sign in with your instagram account and it's going to link it through to your business manager if you haven't already done that and then it's going to show up here okay the key thing is you can't add it to multiple business managers so it's going to be added here to this specific one um, and then you'll be able to manage all of your permissions so once you've added in your instagram account it's going to look something like this you can see here my instagram account is linked at the top i can add people to my instagram account so again i can add the different people here that i want to be able to manage it for uh, running ads to that instagram page etc and again you can connect it to other assets like ad accounts and pixels and things of that nature so again you're just basically managing your instagram account from within your business manager and it's linked to that asset the final thing i want to show you is how to connect your instagram account to your facebook page and also to your facebook profile if you want to share content across so um, in my case i actually share a lot of my personal um, instagram content on my personal facebook profile so i've linked those two you can also link it to a facebook page all right so there's a few ways to do this um, what you want to do essentially is you want to go and i'll put a link to this um, help document in the description of the video but if you just google how to connect instagram to facebook it's going to bring this up what you can do is you can click on your um, instagram account profile picture you can click on settings this can be done either on a computer or you can do this on your phone scroll down to the bottom and click account center and that's going to bring up the accounts that are linked to your instagram account and again you can click add facebook i've already done it but it's going to um, enable you to link the two so you've then got your instagram and your facebook
Facebook account link. And from there as well, um, this document, which I'll also link, shows you how to add and share it to a specific Facebook page that you manage. So again, you just click the settings, you add the accounts if you haven't. Um, and then by default, your Instagram account is gonna to want to share to your personal Facebook profile, like I mentioned, but to share to a page instead, you can just choose the page that you manage and share it to that instead okay so again very simple and just enables you to link the two together in order to um, post content from Instagram through to your Facebook page the other place where you can also link your Instagram account is if you go to your Facebook page you can scroll down um, and you can click on settings at the bottom and then what you're going to want to do is scroll down again and click on Instagram and this is going to show your connected page and you can connect it here if you haven't as well okay so you can disconnect any of your old ones and you can reconnect up new ones in order to link your Facebook and your Instagram account so make sure that all of those things are done and the account is fully linked and integrated just so you've got the complete freedom to post content on both channels you can also then run ads if this is in your business manager you'll be able to run ads from your Instagram account from your Instagram page um, and everything will work very seamlessly as we move forward. So in summary, you should be able to add your team members to your business manager. You should be able to connect your Facebook page up to your business manager as well as your Instagram account, and then also connect your Instagram and Facebook page together as well, just so everything is nicely linked. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If you wanna work with us as an agency, we handle all of the paid media campaigns for our clients, running ads on platforms like Facebook, Google, PPC, and LinkedIn to drive leads and sales. There's a link in the description where you can book a call with me. Please also like and subscribe to this video. It does really help me out a lot. And I'm gonna be filming more videos in this series. Like I say, the next one specifically is gonna be on pixel tracking. We're gonna look at the simple way of doing pixel tracking and then the more advanced and more accurate way which is what we use with all of our clients there'll be multiple videos on that process it's a very key point so make sure you're subscribed and are waiting ready for that video but thank you for taking the time to watch this and speak soon